Give us something a little title tell us how y'all do it today. Well, if you are Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, it is a war of, uh, what is it? A war of two worlds, y'all. What am I talking about? Everybody wants a Kanye update. What's going on with Kanye? What's going on, Bianca? We now have an answer for why Bianca was missing a baby. She wasn't missing. She was just being respectful of uh, Kanye having one-on-one -on -one solo time with Norquef after he saw some mess on the Kardashians. But don't worry. Kim Kardashian knows also, y'all, who would have thought in 2023, Kanye would be the one that looks like he has since. Kanye would be the more stable parent. Kanye would be the one. Y'all, Kim is busy trying to make North into a little mini superstar. I know everybody is like, North is so cute on the Kardashians, and North is cute. North is a key. But the fact that Kim is putting North out there, right now she's cute. She only has a little bit more few years till she says something, and the public turns on her. The public is vicious, even to child stars. Why is Kim so desperate to make North a thing? It's weird. She got a, she got a famous mama. She got a famous rich daddy. North is beautiful. She's our ticket. Like, North will be okay. Whenever she is ready to actually age appropriately, take opportunity, she will. Why is Kim so pressed? I'll tell you why. Because Kim is actually pressed in her relationship with Odell Beckham Jr. Baby, all these uh, all these uh, articles that were out about Kanye said Bianca can't talk. Kanye said Bianca can't speak. But meanwhile, Kim has basically admitted that she's not allowed to talk or speak around Odell Beckham Jr., y'all. Let's get into this mess. Um, but before we do, um, don't forget I'm going live tonight to discuss the Diddy stuff. Okay, let's get into this, right? First of all, Kim is uh, Kanye and Bianca. Let's start with them, right? They were in uh, Dubai. Bianca is back and she is looking lovely. However, the people, the reason people say that Bianca is back is because she left to give North one-on-one -on -one time with Kanye. People are saying that Kanye actually saw last week's episode of Keeping Up with Kardashian. I know what y'all saying. Yes, I'll get the recaps up. But there's been so much going on. Who cares about that when there's Diddyville, right? But Kanye uh, put all that stuff up. Uh, he saw that stuff that North put up about on the Kardashians about daddy's house is better than yours. Why can't you? Blah, 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 blah. And Kanye was like, yo, even though I'm working on my album and I got into work mode, North isn't a little kid anymore. She misses her daddy. Yo, come on. Bianca actually being respectful of North. Bianca was being respectful of North. And uh, she said, you know what? Why don't you guys have your time alone? I'll go back and visit my family. And that way, when you guys are done, I'll come. North was in with Kanye for a few weeks. She went back, of course, because she missed her dad, missed her mama. Great. I think it's actually really, really loving that Bianca gave that space because that's what you do when you have to be with someone that has kids. Sometimes they actually do need time outside of, you know, you, my dad, and me. Can I just have me and my dad? The fact that people tried to spin it into breakups. Now that said, Kanye was walking around with his wedding ring, but people are saying sometimes you take off your wedding ring for different reasons. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The, the kids seem to be all right. Everybody seems to be fine. They are having a ball. Who isn't having a ball? Kim Kardashian. For everybody saying that Kanye is the one that's not stable. Kanye been married since last year. Prior to that, he was in a low-key, quiet relationship with Chaney Jones. Kanye has not said a peep. He has not said a word. He has been minding the business that pays him. Meanwhile, Kim has been plastered all over social media. Now, you can argue that is her job. But one of the things that's not her job, or maybe it is part of her job, is finding a man and her relationships. In that time, Kim has gotten, let's, let's run down, right? She has gotten publicly played by Pete. We found out that her and Pete got matching tattoos, um, either one because they were messing around for a while, or if we believe Kim's version, um, they just clicked so well on Saturday Night Live, they decided to get infinity tattoos. You then had a man that admitted that he was on ketamine every single day that you had him around your kids while you were there and while you were not there. You then publicly got dumped and humiliated you then went into this whole thing about ah you know back to your 2020 no your what is it 2006 uh party and ways which fine go ahead you know you got you got nannies go ahead and do your thing she threw herself at tom brady that was a bust she threw herself at a bunch of people 
people just laughed in her face. She looked so unhinged and it was so bad that she now is like, oh, I'm not dating. I'm just keeping time to myself. She finally latched on to Adele Beckham Jr., a man with a child that's not even two years old, right? He just had a baby with his fiance Lolo, right? Um, she somehow got in the middle of that relationship. They are now dating. But the thing is, as much as people say that Kanye is uh, very harsh to Bianca and doesn't let her speak, which I don't believe, Kim is not even allowing herself to speak with Adele Beckham Jr. This is the billionaire mogul, Kim Kardashian. Listen, they said, following his reported split from Lauren Wood, NFL player Odell Beckham Jr. is said to be hanging out with reality star Kim Kardashian. You guys are not even a serious relationship. You are now so desperate to be attached to a man that you are just, and who cares if you hanging out? Why are you announcing that? Do you announce the people you hang out with? For what? There's nothing between us. There's no ties. There's no commitment, nothing. It's ultra casual. Why do I need to announce that I'm hanging out with you? An insight source, uh, 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 an insight source told People that Kim and Odell Beckham have hit it off and are hanging out. Okay. Ah, oh, this is sad that they are now hanging out. This is sad. Let me read this. But Odell Beckham Jr. is definitely afraid of the Kardashian curse amid the Kardashian romance. They're saying, is Kim Kardashian off the market? A source says she's secretly dating longtime acquaintance Odell Beckham Jr. And the mogul is so smitten, she's playing by his rules. Again, this almost makes me feel like Odell was like, no, we ain't nothing. And Kim's trying to keep that rumor going while still like not being called out. Listen to this. Adele is adamant that she not post about him. No photo ops and no red carpets together. A source exclusively told Life and Style. In private, they can't keep their, their hands off each other. Turns off, the NFL wide receiver doesn't want his romance to overtake his career. He's definitely afraid of the Kardashian curse. You'd think Kim would be offended, but she understands. Or at least she says she does. She announced that she planned to be single for two years following her August 2022 split from Pete Davidson. She thinks it's going to be two years to watch the stench of being uh, Pete's dum-dum off of her, please. But recently revealed she kept a manifest list of qualities she's seeking in a partner. Um, her friends joke she manifested Odell because he's her type to a T. He's a decade younger, but Kim's totally open to seeing where it goes. Y'all. Kim Kardashian is announcing that she's proud to be someone's official jump off. What do you call it when you're in a relationship with someone, when you are not allowed to post about him, make photo ops, and don't do red carpets together? Your whole life is this. But in private, you guys can't keep your uh, hands off each other because he doesn't want to be a victim of the Kardashian curse. You're saying you manifested him. This is the perfect person. You needed two years for people to forget that you were done. No one else got played by Pete Davidson in their lives. Kim was the only one that ever got played. And from that time, Brady playing you when you're like, oh, he's my crush. And he didn't want anything to do with you because he thought you were a bad look. And now you are literally being Odell Beckham's private dancer. And you're cool with that. Well, I'm beginning to believe these rumors and they are rumors. Nothing's bad. This listen, my whole channel is my opinion and speculation. And what do you guys think? I'm asking y'all questions and giving y'all items and being like, what do y'all think about it? But honestly, I'm beginning to believe these rumors that Kim is an elite billionaire's plaything. And I think I know who that billionaire might be. If we can use photographic evidence, let me know if you want me to make a video about that. But honestly, it really, honestly, nothing else makes sense. Nothing else makes sense. Because even for Kim, this is is low even for Chloe. Okay, it's not low for Chloe, but it's low for Kim, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.